Hi, I'm Derek Hilton, and my channel is all about photographing and filming wildlife. Now, what have I got in store for you today? Let's take a look. Hi and welcome to Inverloch, the state of Victoria, bottom right hand corner of Australia. Today's subject is 250D close up screw on lens. Why did I go for a screw on close up lens rather than a micro lens itself like the Canon 100mm, that's Canon's ants pants of uh, micro lenses? Well it's all to do with I'm not really into close-ups of insects and stuff like that. It's just something I occasionally do. I'm an action man. I'm into birds in flight. And my big passion is a little carnivorous marsupial called the Agile Antichinus. It's fast. And yeah, I'm just into action. I use a close-up lens on the way to photographing action and on the way home from photographing action. So I didn't need to spend a lot of money, I just needed something that would help me out. When I see something nice, you might see a bright coloured insect on a leaf, you think, oh, that'll be a nice photograph. And it's really handy in that area. It packs away in its little container in my backpack. It doesn't take up much room, it doesn't weigh very much at all, but it's far lighter than an actual lens. Now, I do a lot of hiking, in the forests and also I like doing overnight hikes so I've done three and four day hikes every now and then and I've always got this with me. Now in the past I've used this on 70 to 300 millimeter standard Canon lens. I used to use it on the 5D Mark II. I bought this about five years ago. Now this is meant for a wide angled lens rather than a zoom lens. I could use it at the 70 end. Yeah, adding zoom, get up to 100, it starts to really fog out at the sides. You can't really see anything. It's not a very nice looking image at all. Go fully zoomed out, yeah, it's horrible. But leaving it at the 70 end was okay. Got some great shots over the years, and here's a few of them now. Like chicks that have just left the nest, managed to get a couple of nice shots, got right up close to them, they let me. So it was. It was a handy little lens back then for that. Now I bought the 7D Mark II 12 months ago. Let's put that over there. And I bought the kit lens to go with it. And that's the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. And it just happened to be, by accident, the right size to screw that on. So now I leave that on all the time ready to go for any little insect or anything that pops up out of the blue. These two marry up beautifully from wide angle right out to the 55mm. I use the 55mm a lot. I get beautiful images. That background is nicely blurred out. The image is nice and sharp. We do need to use a tripod from micro stuff. I forgot to bring it today for this little weekend getaway that I'm at down the beach. Uh, yeah, so I'll be using it handheld. We can use it handheld, but as we get older, it's a lot harder to stay completely still. And because we're using a micro lens, there's not a lot of give there. So it might take a few shots to get it right. Uh, using a tripod, definitely the way to go. Right now, if we need a little bit of light, Bring in on a subject, the flash. Now this is the 600EX second version. Did a little review on this if you want to have a look at it. This has been working really well and with the 7D Mark II it's a master for flashes. So we don't need to have this on the camera if we don't want to. If we want to get different angles to get some nice lighting effects 
on our little insect or whatever. Also has that little extra card on there to reflect a little bit more light back too. That comes in handy with our lamps as well. Now with this flash, we get a little extra bit of help. So that's normal. And that is an extra seven degrees down further for close-ups. So that's a handy little tool to have this. It's been working really well with some of the close-ups. All right, so let's go and have a look at a lot of the photographs I've taken over the years. Then we'll walk around the beach and I'll see what I can find around the place. Just getting a little creative here. Made a little man out of these float balls that you have on seaweed. Put little sticks, make some holes, shove them in. They look real nice. And also, I've always thought these cuttlefish bones, it's the backbone out of a cuttlefish, look like little surfboards. So I thought I'd have a little play, a bit of a muck around here, yeah, and it's come out really nice. Now I've used the flash. The sun's not completely over the hill here just yet. Just to brighten it up a bit. A beautiful blue sky and all those nice colours on those rocks in the background so they'll be slightly blurred out. A nice backdrop for the photograph. Brighten up my subject with the flash. I pulled the card out just to reflect a little bit more light back on the subject. Got the flash turned down very low because I'm up close. I don't want it to be overly bright. I wanted to keep it looking a little bit darkish on my subject and having a bit of shadow back so it looked like the sun was still rising so, yeah nice effect how about you get creative and have a bit of a play yourself Sorry about the wind, but I'm using the 7D Mark II and I haven't got the microphone for it. I'm using it on my camcord tripod, which is a bit tall really for micro stuff. But anyway, giving it a go. And what I want to talk to you about is using the light in different ways with reflectors and things like that. Can you see the water has reflecting the light from the sun up underneath this shelf? Well, I just took a couple of photographs of those little shelves using that light. So we can use bits of uh, tin foil to reflect light or even like I've got in my backpack, a notepad. Well, I'm back home in my beautiful office to do a wrap up of this video on the 250D micro close-up screw-on lens. For me, it fits all my needs. Packs away nicely. Doesn't take up a lot of space in my backpack. In the ICU compartment that it stays in, I have it like that. So yeah, it's just not taking up a lot of extra space, that's for sure. For me, not using it a lot, spending a lot of money on an actual zoom micro lens like the 100mm, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Going away on a four day hike or whatever, even out in the forest here on a, a daily walk around, the likelihood of me using it is very slim. I'm not out looking for micro stuff, it's just something that pops out at me. I decide to take a photograph of it or not. An insect that's brightly coloured like a beetle or a spider building a web. They're images that would be in my private collection. Occasionally use those sort of things for photo manipulation. 
a bit of a play in Photoshop, as well as maybe print one out and stick it up on the wall. For videoing, it worked really well. Zoomed in on that flower, the image looks fantastic. Also, nice reflections on the wall where that little shell was. Yeah, quite like the images with this lens. It's working really well with that. On the 55mm side of it, yeah, it's really good. Get up nice and close. Get within 70mm with that lens. Yeah, it works really well. Focuses nicely. There is a 400D version of that that's meant for zoom lenses. Don't know much about it. I bought that one because I thought that would suit me better. I hope I've helped you out. Make up your own mind what you want to do. That works for me. Might not work for you. Well, that's all I've got for you today. If you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below and you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you'd like to go and have a look at all those videos I've done over the years, so 50 to choose from, must be something there of interest to you, click on my icon down below, take you to my channel. Now, we'll be doing a review on the Panasonic UX180 within the next two to three weeks. Yes, that's right. I've got one on order. I've bought one has slow motion that I desperately need and has an infrared filter so I can film at night without disturbing my subjects, the agile antichinus. I know, I can hear you saying he'll be staying out here all his life. Yes, that's right. I might have to invest in a bed. Day, night, yeah, um, I might as well as live out here. All right, that's enough of me waffling and carrying on. Just remember, if you don't, do you don't get so get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife which is what i'm going to do right now shoot over and start filming the agile antichinus so yeah just before christmas my trail cam went missing but it's come back home so i could see all the signs around that someone had been working in the reserve and it parked very close to where i'd been uh, I had the trail camp. Made a few inquiries, a few phone calls, and all of a sudden, here it is, back in my hands. Awesome. So, yeah.